Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial we'll be going over um, setting up the P PBR text. Um, well we'll be doing PBR te um, texturing in Quixel in this tutorial. So basically what we're going to want to do is export out a GAN but I'm going to go to export um, FBX and selected object. So I only want the one um, that I actually have selected to be exported out and that's fine and we basically open up um, Quixel you're going to need to have your ID uh, mask or map web, either way you want to call it normal map and your AO um, on hand so we'll open up DDo you'll see the big um, yellow D um, button up here and we're going to browse and open up our FBX under uh, mesh ID and the ID normal and normal. Oh, don't open up that normal. Um, and we open up the AO. And you can untick these boxes and um, change your re resolution of your workflow or your yeah, export out. Um, you have um, different settings in here if you what what game engines you're using or what application you're using. So good to look in there um, I'm going to just leave it on on, uh, on this for now um, it really don't matter for me um, probably be redoing this later anyway to tidy up some more things um, but yeah and we just click create and it will start um, creating these weird maps and stuff I yeah, <laughs> have never seen before um, so that from one of them I, I, I know it can create um what is that map called? Um curvature map. I don't know I don't know what all these other things are. It looks like um some weird normal map. Uh <laughs> stuff. So yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. That's nice and quick. Now if you hit the big free um button up here, we we'll open up a three D through port. So we can actually see our Gun, and it's, it looks nice and it's flying. I like it. It looks like it almost ready rendered. Um, and basically, what we're going to do is add a smart material. And we can hit gun, type gun in here, and uh, we could try out some of these gun materials. Um, I like the looks of this one. And just let this load up. And ah, oh, yes, <laughs> that's a lot better from what I could do before. There's still, you know, there's still way too much um, shiny sap for me. Um, I like the handle um, down here. Uh, I would actually. I just think it looks a bit too messy around here. Um, we we can change this up in a way. Um, we can go back, and we I believe we can duplicate. Uh, no, okay. Well, you can't duplicate. I don't think. Um, but we can set um, this little grey um, box up here. If we click on this, we can now assign it to our color IDs. So I'm gonna click red and it kind of assign it to our red um, ID well there's a the bottom part down here oh, uh, that's nice I like it um, and I'm going to add another smart material uh, let's try to have a gun material okay I change my keyboard All right, put it back in English alright now I'll try it right. so Let's try this material. Uh, what was it for the top? Was that was that blue or green? I think the barrel might have been green. And um, the difference between uh, oh, that, that's kind of nice. Um, the difference between traditional texturing and um, this type of texturing is the 
you don't actually bake on the um, shadows from the AO and stuff like that. They you have um, you have like your albedo what is literally um, base color. You know it's um, let let move that side away a sec. Right, you have your albedo what is your base color. It it don't contain any shadow information or anything like that. You have your um, metals or uh, or specular. I think it metal or specular. Then you have your normal map. Um, what's not, you know, what we always have, and uh, roughness, what kind of, um, the, the roughness kind of affects a specular. Um, not sure what metallic or me metal would do, so, um, I believe, I believe it's the same thing, but I'm not sure. Um, so what what we can do now is over here we can set another ID um, map or we can just drag this down below it, right? And it will pop um, the red one up above it, so it should um, render the red channel first, like so. So we got this. I, I I like this. I like this. Um, to me it's too shiny. So I think that's the roughness. Um channel so I'm going to go into roughness and just turn the opacity for this down and just check that out yeah that 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 took it took it down uh, enough uh, I don't I think that's a bit too much I'm going to do 55 I'll try this out I, li I like to have I like to leave a little bit in there um, Well, I'm looking at this, I don't actually like the, I don't like this material on the, the top one. I'm going to add the same material um, for the top part. Um, so, I believe that was. Uh, it was this one, wasn't it? So, just add this one for the top one as well. Also, we we what we could do is um. Not not assign it to an ID map and dips only use uh to start adding the parts what we want assigned to ID map like the bolts here and stuff. Um again the top is too shiny, um but it don't have ID on it. So um, I think that was the top part up here. Um So we'll just check out what ID yes, okay, cool. That's that. Um, I want to set this to 55 as well. I kind of want to give um, like a chrome um, barrel barrel to this. Um, I think that I think that would look pretty cool. So we we, we should do that. Um, we can go under uh, metals metal, and it will load up. And I like the looks of this because it got like these little um, crash lines what going in. Um, but we, we we could cycle through these and try out different materials. That's fine. But I'm going to use this one for now. And you, you can also customize these textures up a lot more. You know, this is just touch touching the surface of it. Not 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 even touching the surface really. When you see how when you see how much detail you can go into, you can change the color of it. Um, of your materials, um, I totally forgot to add the ID map of the black bit here. If I did, I oh, I would start drawing over that. But um, I, I I could paint that out in um, the that when I export it out, I could paint that stuff in there anyway. But yeah, it probably would have been a good idea to add that to an ID map. Um, Moss as well, and just set that to like a black, and then just go over and paint it as well. Um, but I'm not worried about that for now. Um, I want to turn the roughness down to about eight percent, maybe. Um, and what we could do, um, I want to. Now add another material. Um, let go under metals. Let 
let, let us add this metal. And I'm going to assign it to this part here. I, I can't remember if uh, that is all these other little parts as well. If so, I will. But I kind of wanted to add different colours to it. I should have uh, added more colours into the ID map. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Uh, like in here. Um, when You can actually open up the file here. And you have these other materials inside it. And you you can affect um, a, a Bado. And you can affect um, all these, you know, the material. Um, uh, metal this and you can affect the normal you can affect the roughness as well and all you know all that stuff can really change how it looks it was brilliant you know there's so much to it um so basically i'm going back and just assign this to the light blue channel No, okay, we already have light blue, so it's the dark blue. So we want to assign it to. And we can do it with lighting. Um, as well is if you click on it, like a uh, ball up here, um, shiny ball, you have different lightings you can try out. Um, so like if you're working for uh, uh, if you're working in Unreal and stuff, you can actually see what it would look like in Unreal light lighting setup. Or you, um, you've got two different lighting setups for Unreal here. Um, I'm not quite sure what the others are. They don't really say, but you can um, change between them as well. Uh, I like that. Um, that's nice. Um, you, you know you got oh if you're holding down shift and right mouse wheel uh, not my uh, right mouse wheel you only got one mouse wheel oh if you hold down shift and ma uh, right mouse click uh, you can move the light around um, hopefully zooming in and out holding down alt and mouse wheel you can pan like so um, and yeah oh I like I like it. I I highly recommend using um Quixel if you work if you want to uh, use um PBR uh, materials and you know you do it's breaking into um texture and stuff as it's a lifesaver. Um there's some things you have to be um take um careful uh, have to be careful of is seams um because you can't really hide them very well sometimes like you will have issues um with seams like if if you have a cylinder and you do bring a cylinder down here you're going to have a seam going all the way down it you can paint and you can change um texture mask like on these um little black um parts here i can actually change how it affects on um the model itself but i think i believe it's setting it to the id map um so like let's say if I go in here I can then change this um, black material um, effect different things and I can even do the same here if I uh, I can go in here and do I want to paint no I don't want to paint but if I go in here you now you can kind of see like where this the, the black I believe the black part is it white or black I, I, I get confused but it's one of them, okay, uh, where the this texture will be applied to it, and you've got all these other um, elements you can kind of click on, and it will assign it in a different, you know, assign it differently. Uh, so that's brilliant. I love that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it here um, for now. Um, if you, if you like uh, these videos, um, give give that thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more from me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, um, and till then, happy modelling, um, I'll see you later.